Welcome to the metropolis, the big city. This is where tech, trends, and culture meet. Meet the people. See the sights. Walk the city streets and experience the lifestyle. This is your first class ticket to the cities of the world. Mumbai Bright lights, busy city, Mumbai in India Many Indians choose this place to hold their extravagant stylish weddings Guests are always in jewel-toned saris, intricately embroidered skirts and such Indian weddings in Mumbai are great for sightseeing often the subject of photographs, and most of all, a fun event to be part of. Lucky if you're a friend or relative of an Indian about to get hitched. Weddings aside, the city is also known for many other treats. The Marine Drive is a popular destination. Listen to Bollywood tunes or the Punjabi rap there. Or if you prefer to be away from the loud sounds and noisy blues, Mumbai will always have its quiet corners. Yoga is popularly practiced in Mumbai. One of the recent practices is aerial yoga, where yogis would pose using cloth harnesses that are suspended from the ceiling. Another option is to travel via the sea, a highly recommended way to see the city. The Gateway of India is superb at sunset, definitely a sight to behold. You can opt to charter a yacht, as there are a fleet of vessels available for hire. Want an experience of the ever-famous Bollywood? Hop into an auto rickshaw. You'll get to ride past the film star's mansions in the area, plus maybe get a glimpse of one of the superstars. The city is known for its old colonial houses too. Luxury boutique hotels aren't the norm here. So it's a gem to find one. Make sure to take pictures. The city's nightlife is quite a busy yet low-key one too. There are restaurants, cocktail bars and various concert venues to choose from and there's always a gig in town. Catch in performance an indie band or an a cappella group. Musicals are a dream. Then there's also the hip art scene. Found in the middle of Shoreditch. This neighborhood in Mumbai is where you'll find the art galleries, cafes, and places for shopping too. Now you'll know where to buy souvenirs to take home. Copenhagen Roam around the city of Copenhagen and you'll find anything and everything to suit your tastes and interests. Denmark's capital is filled with historical landmarks, architectural sites, and museums that speak of its culture. What to do in Copenhagen? Visit the famous Little Mermaid, of course. The diminutive stature of this bronze-cast Hans Christian Andersen heroine is considered the city's most iconic landmark. Many who've seen it will come home with a postcard or a photo of the great replica. Then of course, you should sample its best and most iconic dishes. The Danish, or also known as the New Nordic Kitchen, is in fact known as among the world's best. It offers a modern take on the traditional Danish cuisine 
that uses seasonal local produce that's organic and climate friendly. It's highly recommended that you visit one of its best kitchens and gourmet markets for an authentic culinary experience. Meanwhile, for entertainment, Copenhagen is highly praised for its jazz music. It has also become a means to express voices on certain issues such as racial tolerance and free thought. American jazz musicians have actually made the city their home since the 1960s. Since then, it has become one of the characteristics Copenhagen is known for. It's got top-notch jazz clubs, open-air concerts, events, and international jazz festivals are held here on a regular basis. Another landmark that reflects the city's culture and history is Christiania. The autonomous free town Christiania was founded in 1971. It is the site of an abandoned military camp that has continued its existence for over four decades. As an effect, the city of Copenhagen has come to be known as the liberal and free-thinking capital. A visit to the city will definitely teach you some of the remarkable stories of its history. Not to be missed are the canals, of course. One, there are the painted houses on the canal side. Make sure to visit Nyhaven, a former sailor's haunt transformed into a lovely summertime tourist trap. Then there's also Gamel Strand, where a street market adds a lively air during the summer. And finally, Christian Savin, which is filled with canals. It has earned the nickname of Little Amsterdam. Atlanta, capital of the state of Georgia, which is the most populous city in the U.S. The city is in fact the ninth largest metropolitan area in the U.S. It's got a convenient central location that allows easy access and a welcome invite for tourists. The region of Atlanta is known for many homegrown celebs. Its pop culture is also rich with diversity, shopping, a thriving nightlife, and yes, sultry weather. It's why the city is nicknamed Hot Atlanta both for its happening night scene and intense weather. Atlanta is also known for its diversity and culture. Thousands travel to Atlanta for its yearly gay pride festivities. You're also sure to meet a mix of people from various nationalities, beliefs, and religious upbringing. The city, after all, represents a mix of the Old South values with modern beliefs brought about by its growing population. The city is also home to one of the world's busiest airports, the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. About 90 million people travel through it every day. And that's mainly because the city is centrally located. And within just a short flight to where more than 80% of people live in the U.S. It connects to a dozen of both domestic and international destinations. Now about the famous celebrities in Atlanta. As you know, the city is responsible for many world-class talents. Rappers and singers we know today call the city home. There's Tyler Perry, T.I., and his wife Tiny and Bow Wow. Music videos, films, and TV shows also love to feature the city. Most known are the scenes in Real Housewives of Atlanta, The Braxton's Family Values, and Single Ladies. On to the nightlife. You can try nightclubs and comedy bars, high-energy parties and low-key jazz and poetry readings. Some even flock to Atlanta just to be able to experience the hottest nightclubs. Celebs also make a stop over to the city for the club's luxurious VIP areas. Last but not least is of course the shopping. You'll find anything, yes anything, to buy in Atlanta. Dozens of malls line the city, along with hundreds of shopping centers in practically every corner. Add that to the string of warehouse sales offering shoes, clothes, 
accessories, household goods, and appliances. There are also home stores for antiques and furniture. Just about every nook and cranny in Atlanta has a shopping area. Dublin The capital and largest city of Ireland, Dublin. It has become a historical and contemporary center for education and the arts, a fast-improving economic industry. And today, it's become one of the frequently visited cities in the world. Dublin's unique charms is a string of attractions that offers a bit of everything for everyone. The Guinness Storehouse is one being one of Ireland's top visitor attractions. It is a massive seven-story building that once served as a Guinness fermentation plant. Now it has been remodeled into a shape of a giant pint of Guinness. The storehouse teaches guests how to make the world-famous beer. The gravity bar inside is a favorite, where they get to enjoy drinks while enjoying breathtaking 360-degree views of the city. The Dublin Zoo is a highlight too. See many rare and exotic animals in their natural habitats. There's a gaze of giraffes, zebras, scimitar oryx, and ostrich. There's also the Kazuranga Forest, where you'll see a herd of ancient elephants. One of the most innovative water parks in Europe is the National Aquatic Center. It's great for family fun and thrilling adventures with friends. Go through caves or water adventures, fly through the air, or have an enjoyable family day. It's got the biggest water rides and attractions. The National Gallery of Ireland is where you'll find over 2,500 paintings and some 10,000 other works in different media. Watercolor arts, drawings, prints, and sculptures are all there. Another museum is the National Museum of Ireland Archaeology, where you'll be transported back in time. The finest collection of prehistoric gold artifacts in Europe can be found here. Then, there's also the National Botanic Gardens. It has many attractive features like an arboretum, sensory garden, rock garden, and burren area, large pond, and extensive herbaceous borders. Plus, it has an annual display of decorative plants, such as a rare example of Victorian carpet bedding. Another popular destination is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It is one of the few buildings left from the medieval city of Dublin. It remains as the largest cathedral in Ireland, with a fascinating history worth knowing. Houston Houston, Texas counts as probably one of the most interesting, mysterious cities in the world. And this is perhaps mainly because of its space center, the place for NASA's astronaut training and flight control complex. Alongside its outer space and otherworldly curiosities, the city also includes the theater district, the Houston Grand Opera, the historic district, among others. The city is beautified with 19th century inspired architecture with trendy establishments. It's known for being one of the diverse places to live in Texas. Welcome to Houston! Here you'll find world class attractions and events. Its dining, shopping, entertainment, and nightlife are commendable as well. Space and science is, of course, one of the things unique to the city. Houston was actually the first spoken word from the moon. You'll find NASA's Johnson Space Center here. Energy, aeronautics, transportation, manufacturing, and with a leading healthcare sector are things to boast about Houston. Best of all, the city's resources for space and science is what provides tourists and residents an abundance of employment opportunities 
and educational advantages. At the same time, Houston is also home to a lot of shopping fun. The Galleria is the largest mall in Texas, providing pure shopping gratification for visitors. The suburb is in fact called a leading outdoor retail outlet spot as it hosts over 200 specialty stores in its compound. Another thing you've probably heard about the city are its sports teams. Professional football, baseball, basketball, and soccer games are big here. Houston is home to Reliant Astrodome, Minute Maid Park, Toyota Center, and BBVA Compass Stadium, and sports enthusiasts flock to see the Astros, Texans, Dynamos, and Rockets play their best game. College sports are major here, too. Houston has five prominent teams to follow. Minor leagues play around town as well, including the women's teams. At the same time, a variety of annual sports-themed events are scheduled all year round, such as golf tournaments, running marathons, and the rodeo, among others. Also find in the city a 17-block area full of entertainment and arts. Art organizations, galleries, plazas, and movie theaters line the streets of downtown Houston. Be sure to visit one or catch a show during your visit. Luxor the famous city of Luxor, Egypt. On the outside, the city is admittedly not all that charming. So what is it that will make you visit the city with its scorching hot weather and dust-choking streets? Dare to explore deeper into the sun and sand to find its hidden gems. Egyptian sites, monuments, tombs, and temples. Amid the ancient sites are modern attractions as well. First is the Temple of Karnak. It's a massive ancient site that has several different temples that are dedicated to specific gods. The Hypostyle Hall is a pinnacle part of this temple. The pillars so grand will make you feel like you're in the middle of a canyon with cliffs surrounding you. Visit this majestic place that will make you want to learn more about the ancient gods and their beliefs. Next is the Temple of Luxor a rather easily accessible place right at the center of town. It was founded by Amenophis III, but altered in later years by Tutankhamun, Hordamheb, and Ramses II. The secret is to pay a visit at night, as you will see the illuminated yellow lights that paint nicely on the ruins and statues. It's a calm and curious place to sit by and hang out, or watch the people or little children playing. There's also the Luxor Museum, another breathtaking tourist spot. It houses some of the most important relics collected from temples and tombs around Luxor. The Valley of the Kings is also worth the trip. You can access it from across the Nile from Luxor. It's stuck beneath a barren mountain and you'll see it stop like a triangular pyramid. The valley is hollowed out like an anthill. Buried beneath it are some of the most legendary pharaohs of ancient Egypt. It is considered a sacred place that secures and ensures eternal life. You will surely be amazed at the relics, reliefs, hieroglyphics, and spells plastered on the walls and carved into the stones. Nearby is the Valley of the Queens. The place has been hailed as the resting place of royal family members and relatives. It is where princes, royal children, and of course, queens are represented. And then, there's Deir al-Bari. It is the mortuary temple of Queen Hatshepsut, the only female pharaoh to rule Egypt. Its interiors are quite deteriorated, but the view of its facade, with its multiple terraces and colonnades, is impressive. Indeed, a visit to Luxor gives you a dose of heavy history and a culture you won't have in any other city. New Orleans 
New Orleans, a city of jazz, Mardi Gras, and Cajun cuisine. It's alive and buzzing with activity for adults and youngsters too. The largest city in Louisiana is located along Mississippi River and has one of the largest inland ports in the United States. It is considered a melting pot of cultures with French-speaking Cajuns, including Creoles, Italian, Irish, and German residents. As a result, the city's cultural diversity can be experienced through many things. Its music, food, and its schedule of fun festivals you should definitely be part of. To some, it's called the Big Easy. For others, it's referred to as the Queen of the South. New Orleans is foremost known for its regular festivals, the most famous being the Mardi Gras. Come carnival season, which begins in January, flocks of people visit the city, but that's not all. A host of other events take place throughout the year. The Jazz Fest, perhaps the next most popular, happens every April. It offers visitors an event with local musicians together with other big names in the industry. And of course, there's the food. What makes up the unique New Orleans flavor? It can be described as diverse, unique, and easily recognizable. The Central Grocery is perhaps the most famous place to sample their authentic dishes. Jambalaya, red beans and rice, Creole bread pudding, po' boy sandwiches, and practically anything that includes crawfish. These are certain must-tries. Next comes music. As you know, the city is regarded as the birthplace of jazz music. The city's history of jazz music, in fact, dates back to 1835, a time when slaves used to congregate in Congo Square for some singing and dancing. Over time, the jazz and brass bands formed and expanded throughout and have even influenced each other. Now there are Creole contributions, Ragtime, Dixieland, and soon, Blues and Rock. And then of course, there's shopping. It's got everything from old world antiques to the latest in fashion. Food lovers should visit the popular Crescent City Farmer's Market, while the art enthusiasts should head over to the Bywater Art Market for healthy inspiration. Popular streets for women's wear are the Magazine Street and Canal Street. You'll also find music stores, shops for tourists, and yes, even voodoo shops. Time to explore! It's time for us to go! Pack your bags and get your tickets ready. And we'll see you on the next destination. Catch us again next time on Cities of the World.